Hello YouTube, so today we are remaking a famous game called Color Switch. So what you want to do is open up Unity, go to File, New Project, and then name it Color Switch and make sure you're selected on 2D mode, then create Project. Uh, once you've done that, go to File, Build Settings, uh, switch the platform to Android or iOS if you have iOS. I'm using, I'm doing it for Android because I have an Android. So then after that, what you want to do is there should be a background image. Make sure you download the assets from the description tab or bar below. Uh, and then first we want to import the, or put, we want to put the background image into our scene and then make that dark black or dark gray. Uh, pull up the game so while you're um, remaking it you can look at your phone and see how it looks like it makes it way easier so okay I made it dark black okay next we're gonna import or in yeah we're gonna input the color switch name uh, and then we're gonna scale it down let's move that up where it belongs uh, this tutorial is for beginners it's not gonna be I'm not gonna remake the game to be a one-to-one -one exact copy uh, it's just gonna be a simple plain uh, color switch that's what we're making so next let's import the play button okay let's scale that down okay next let's put let's import the circle We'll scale that down. Yeah. Oops, I clicked the background. That's okay. Um now the circle, see. Let's okay, let's rename everything. We have background, then we have color switch. Let's name this word. Okay, then we have play button, then we have circle. Mini circle. Let's duplicate this five times. Or four. Oh, yeah, four times. That's good. Um, no, no, no. Five times. All right. So now what we want to do, let's name this second circle. And then let's name the third one large circle. Okay, then um, we let's delete one of these circles. Name this circle word circle one. And this word circle two. I'm reading. I'm renaming them so you don't get confused. Okay, let's move the words. Let's scale down the word circle first. And let's move it up to the word, actual word. So this is going to be the O in the word. Okay. And let's copy this component here and go to word circle two. And then just right click, paste as values. Okay, it should be right there and it should be the same scale. Okay, now what we want to do, let's create an empty name it circles first put the word circles in the actual word okay hopefully I'm not confusing you guys but <clears throat> right now we're creating an empty and just naming it circles and we're gonna put all we're gonna put these circles here by the play by the play right here we're gonna put them in the circle thingy the circle empty oops not put large circle. okay now click second circle and let's scale it up okay next click large circle scale that up too okay so now there we have it all right now let's add the buttons 
um here let me add the game modes button first because that one looks simple it's gonna make it life easier for me if i add this okay let's scale it down to where it looks about right then let's add the star oops go to scene scale that down bring it down scale a little more down okay once that's scaled down so let's do this. so today we're basically all we're gonna do is just have the first uh, first scene done and have the buttons on the page and uh, the next tutorial will get the buttons working and start the game okay so once you have that let's change the color <clears throat> And like I said, I recommend you get the game so you know what you're doing. Because it's going to be confusing if you don't have the game. If you have the game, you can just look off the game and work from there. Okay, that's purple, bluish. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact. But yeah, let's move it down a bit. There. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, let's see now. Let's import the buttons for, that go on the bottom all of them and uh, what else the like button okay so what we want to do go to scene bring the like button it goes all the way to the far corner so let's scale that down scale down down is that too small yeah let's scale it up a bit and then let's move it up okay let's move it a little more to the right <clears throat> next what we want to do what's the next button shopping cart let's scale that down and let's move it down Oof. put some space okay so sorry guys i'm rushing so my bad for if you don't get something it's because i've been I, i'm rushing on this project because i have to go somewhere right now soon so let me scale that down <clears throat> okay we got the buttons right there uh, right now they don't have to be perfect once we get um the buttons working uh We'll make sure they're perfect. Okay, scale that down. Okay, let me move that down. All right. We have one more button and that is the trophy. And then we should be done with the bottom. Okay, we got the trophy. Um, so what we need to do, we need to move this button a bit. We need to move that button a bit. Trophy, let's scale it up. <clears throat> okay, let's scale up the trophy. And bam, we got the bottom done. Okay, now, I didn't make a settings button or a stats button, I think. So let's see. We're going to work with what we have. All right. Now we're doing the top buttons. So we have question mark, present, and then we have no ads, and then we have the infinite button. And then what else I think is the sound button. That's what I put instead. Okay, so these are gonna be the buttons for the top. Let's select all of them. Question, it starts at question mark. Okay, let's scale them down. Let's move them to the top. That's too big. Okay. That's about right, I think. Um, so first one is we're going to put sound. Since I didn't make my own settings button, we're going to use sound instead. So the first one is the sound button. Then the next one, infinite button. Move it down right there. 
then present goes to the other side in the middle okay then what's next uh, question move that to the other side okay let me move present down a bit okay so next what's next what's that nodes no ads yeah that's what's next okay so there that's the basic front page of um what's it called color switch so there there you have it um now go to file save scene and just save it as one okay um thank you for watching hit the subscribe button and I, i'm gonna upload another tutorial on how to get all the button how to get the buttons working and then we're gonna start the actual game making the game on the next tutorial uh hit the subscribe button and thank you for okay then click the plus sign to add a new material new and then let's make this like dark purplish or whatever and then press assign so okay once we go to object mode there there's our maze so now what you want to do let's add the player so what we want to do is go to object mode press space and then type